So we've said that solutions are homogeneous mixtures made when a solute, what you have less of, is mixed in a solvent, what you have more of. We can also measure how much of a solute gets dissolved into a solvent in a couple different ways. But when we're measuring the amount of solute dissolved in a solvent, we call that the concentration of the solution. So we can measure concentration in a variety of different ways. Today we're going to focus on measuring concentration in units of grams per liter. So let's say we take a solute, this red salt, and we have 10 grams of it, and we dump it into a cup of water that has 2 liters, and I asked you, what is the concentration in grams per liter? Well, all you would need to do is take the number of grams and divide it by the number of liters. Which in this case, since we have 10 grams and 2 liters, the concentration will be 10 grams over 2 liters, which equals 5 grams per liter. That's the main idea. This tells us for every 1 liter of solution, we have 5 grams of solute dissolved in it. So here are two similar example problems that you would have to do. Number one, 20 grams of sodium chloride are dissolved in 4 liters of water. What is the concentration of this solution in units of grams per liter? So what I would first ask you to do for you know, a little review is figure out what is the solute and what is the solvent. So the sodium chloride is the solute, it's what you have less of. The water is the solvent, it's what we have more of. The unknown is what is the concentration in units of grams per liter. Well, our given is 20 grams, 4 liters, so the concentration is going to be 20 grams divided by 4 liters, which equals 5 grams per liter. Number two, how many grams of Kool-Aid are needed to make 8 liters of a 10 grams per liter solution? So this problem is slightly different. Here the unknown is the mass, the grams and we're given the volume and the concentration. So whenever you get a situation like this, the way to do it is to always multiply the volume times the concentration. To figure out the mass, multiply volume times concentration. That's because when we set this problem up, 8 liters times 10 grams, remember per liter means 1 liter, this way when we set this up, our liters cancel, so we're just left with our units of grams. So we just have 8 times 10, which gives you 80 grams. So now I want you to try number 3 and 4 by yourself. So pause the video at this time. When you are done, press play to go over the answers. Answer these on your handout in front of you. So problem three asks, which is more concentrated, A or B? Prove you are right by calculating the concentration of each. Well, box A has three red dots in the cup. And we know that one dot down below here says is 10 grams. So if you have three dots, that means your mass is 30 grams. And we know the volume is 2 liters. So 30 grams over 2 liters equals 15 grams per liter for box A. What about box B? Well, box B has one, two, three, four, five, six dots in it. If each one weighs 10 grams, that's 6 times 10, which is 60 grams divided by 2 liters, same volume. So this is 30 grams per liter. So the one that's more concentrated is B because its concentration is twice that of A. It's 30 grams per liter instead of 15. Number four says, let's say you wanted to change the concentration of box B to 30 grams per liter. How many grams of solute would you have to add? So this one's asking a little bit different question. You want to figure out how many grams we want the concentration to be 30 grams per liter. Well you know the volume is 2 liters, the concentration is 30, so we do volume 2 liters times 30 grams per liter equals 60 grams. Well you already started with 30 grams, so how many grams do you have to add to get to 60? You need to add 30 grams. Go ahead, log on to Exit Ticket on your Chromebook or iPod and answer the practice questions, then the Exit Ticket 
4, learning target 5.4, concentration in grams per liter.